What is up adventurers and welcome to episode 1 of my Torum Online Beginner's Guide. Today we're going to be covering proration. It's a very simple, very easy mechanic in the game, yet it's very very important. And uh, as the name suggests, this video is geared more towards new players, so go ahead and click off the video if you already know about proration. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, in order to begin to understand what proration is, you're going to need to know that there are three different types of attacks in Torum Online. The normal auto attacks that you do when you target an enemy. The second type of attack being your physical skills, any kind of skill that uses MP that does physical damage, such as snipe. And the last type of attack in Torum Online is the magic skills. And this is really important to know because they all affect proration in a different way. Proration is one of the easiest and most simple, yet probably one of the more important mechanics in Torum Online. As you'll see in this video, you have the potential to more than double your damage dealt by skills if you prorate properly. Okay, so what is proration? Well, let me explain it like this. The more you use one type of attack, the weaker that one type of attack will get. However, the stronger the other types of attacks will become. And just in this example, uh, let's say I do an auto attack on this boss. It does about 1300 damage. You see that one did about 1000. Oh, and it's getting weaker and weaker as you see because of proration. Uh, it will bottom out at a certain point so it doesn't just go on forever. But as you see, my damage is getting weaker and weaker with my auto attacks. And as you saw right there, as I started using my skills, the more I used each skill in succession, the damage got lower and lower and lower, and this is due to proration. It's important to keep this in mind because you do not want to spam skills all in a row because you will start wasting MP and dealing lower damage. In this game you want to maximize the amount of damage you deal with your MP, use it efficiently, so keep that in mind to not spam skills. So how do you properly use proration to your advantage? Well, you see as one type of skill gets weaker with continued use, the other two types of skills will get stronger. So if I sit here and I use auto attacks over and over and over, my auto attacks will get weaker, but the benefit is that my next physical skill used will be very, very strong because the boss or enemy is now prorated properly with auto attacks. So let me put it into perspective just how important and how much extra damage you can do by utilizing proration properly. Alrighty, we're going to start the demonstration here with charging our crossfire 5 out of 5. We're going to walk up to this enemy and go ahead and use the skill without any type of proper proration. And you see here, we do about 1.7 million damage, which isn't bad damage. But now I'm going to show you the amazing benefit of proration and just what it can do to change how much damage you do. Okay, so in this demonstration, I will be prorating the boss properly with plenty of auto attacks. We start here, we start with the auto attacks. Uh, buffing myself up a little bit as well Nothing has changed from the last demonstration all the equipment all the skills are the same and you see by just doing some a couple of auto attacks before I do about 4.4 million damage, which is a lot more than we had previously and I got all of this extra damage Just by doing a couple of auto attacks before using my skill so basically all you need to do is make sure you do plenty of auto attacks in between each of your skills in order to get the most damage possible. Uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please drop a like, and if you like and want to see more Torm content, I'll be posting more in the future, so please subscribe, and as well as that I do stream on Twitch um, every single day, so if you want to come hang out and come talk to me personally, you can catch me on Twitch. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.